Now that we have Visual Studio Code downloaded, we're ready to configure it so that we can have a nice, smooth, and easy development experience. Go to your preferred web browser and enter in this URL, coursework.vschool.io forward slash Visual Studio Code setup with hyphens between those words. This will be posted in the comments or the information section of the YouTube video. So you should be able just to click on this link and it will open up for you. Visual Studio Code makes it really easy to add plugins. These plugins add functionality to your development experience and they do some of the heavy lifting for you. So I want to show you how to install these and where you can find them. So I'm going to show you, I'll start with Express and Beautify and then you can take some time to install the rest. So here in this sidebar, you can install plugins by clicking on this icon at the bottom of this list. And you can see the ones that I already have installed. I have a few extra installed, but really you just need the ones that are here. And I'll tell you a few of these what they do. So you can just look for the plugins and you can just click on install. You can see that I already have this installed, so I don't need, I don't have an install button. But if you just click on install, it will start installing for you and eventually it will say blue and restart. Now you don't need to press restart until you have all of them installed. So don't press restart yet. So you can come back and look for each one of these. Beautify, oops, Beautify. And you'll see that there's a bunch of options here. This one is just called Beautify. You have React Beautify and all these other ones, but all you need is Beautify. So continue with this list and install all of them that all the ones here. If you find something else that you like, you can install those. You can also search for themes. Different themes can make your development experience nice. Um, they're just simply color uh, color themes. So once you have all of these installed, come back and you can click on, you can if you delete all, if you delete anything in the search bar, it will show you all of the ones that you have installed. And then you, you should be able to click restart and it will restart the text editor for you and you'll be ready to go. The next part of this is setting up your recommended user settings and your keyboard shortcuts. You have user settings and some really nifty nice keyboard shortcuts. And I'm going to use these throughout the tutorials so it's nice to familiarize yourself with this. So in order to set up your user settings you simply come over here to code Go down to preferences and you can see here there's two options user settings and workspace settings so let's do our user settings first this is going to open two files your default settings and your settings.json i have this all set up for you so you can literally just copy this block in between the, these two curly braces copy the whole thing and you can come back and just you can replace all of that with that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to insert some key short, keyboard shortcuts. And I'm going to come back to code, preferences, keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to close this default keyboard shortcuts file. And then you can just, you can simply copy this whole block right here. We have a uh, opening square bracket and a closing square bracket. Just make sure that you highlight all of that and copy it. Come back here and you can you should have something simple here. I think it's just a opening and a closing square bracket like uh, like this, I believe, or something. Um, but you can just copy and paste everything and replace it with what's there. Again, I have a few extra things, so don't worry about that. And then you can just save that and you'll be good to go. Once you have that all done, we, you're ready to go. And I'll show, I'll show you how I use some of these shortcuts as we proceed through these tutorials.